How's it going, folks? Today I'm going to show you how to remove DRM protection from your iTunes audio. And if there is a free version of this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it at the end of the video. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, select our files. And those are audible files. We'll come back to those. Uh, but for now, this video is going to be about iTunes audio. So this is an M4V. And, uh, or I'm sorry, M4A, that's iTunes Audio. And let's go ahead and select one of those Audible files as well. These are the audio books you get for your Kindle and stuff like that. Let's just select an AAX file. And we'll go ahead and let that convert. And when we're done, what we're going to end up with is an MP3 for both of those. Now, we could also use this for iTunes Video. Uh, but because we're going to be converting to a different format, we don't want our iTunes video to be MP3. We probably want it to be uh, something like Windows Media or, or something they could play on any device. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and see how this goes. And now both files are converted. If we want to know where we are, uh, where they are, we just click the settings and we select the file that we would like to convert it. Uh, DRM protected files that have been turned into MP3, uh, that will be their location. And that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching, folks.